Hey everybody, this is Ori from OneScales, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to associate a product to a collection when you use Shopify CSV import. Uh, most of you that have already used Shopify know that you can just export your products right here. If you click here, export, you can get a CSV, and then you can actually upload a lot of products using CSV, using Excel, um, and I've already uploaded here for the video. So you can see here I have two products and I can upload, I can just make a ton. I can do bulk, I can really do a lot of things instead of doing in the back end. I can uh, create new products, edit products, I can uh, change their images, descriptions, etc., etc. But there's no way to assign the collection to the product. So this video is here to show you how to do that. All you need to do is you need to add a new column called collection. You can add it anywhere here. For me, I like to add it at the end, capital C, collection, right? And then I'll go to my two products right here. This is one product with variants, and this is another product, and I can go and assign it to my collections. So if I go back here and I go to my collections, this is just a demo store for this video. Um, for example, I have all these collections, new sale t-shirts, men, homepage, women's. So all I need to do is actually need to take exactly the name as it is with the caps. For example, I want to assign this to men's. I'll type in men's and I go here and I want to assign it, for example, homepage, just for example, or let's say new sale right here, this one. Okay. Uh, just keep it exactly the way it is with the spaces, with the caps, with everything. Just copy it exactly the same. For example, new sale. And then when I go here and I save as CSV, now I go to upload this. Let me show you right here. So you can see these products are not assigned to any collections. Let me go here one more. They're not assigned to any collections right here. I can click on import and I can override the existing ones and I can go here and upload. And when I upload it, now it will belong to the collection. So I want to show you a few tips about that. There's a few restrictions. There's a few things you need to know about it. But let's first check that it worked. If I go here, you'll see new sale, right? Belongs to original t-shirt. Original t-shirt belongs to new sale, right? And men's is men's, okay? Um, so what are, the, what are some of the limitations that you have here? So number one is there's no way to export the, the sheet with your collection. So this is only good for when you want to do updates, right? Uh, as you mentioned, as we saw before, there's no way to export. So if I've already edited these, I can't see these, right? So, so only way for me to do it is add the column by myself, just like we did here, and then import. Number two is you can only assign one collection per upload. So when you make it, if you if a product belongs to multiple collections, sadly, as of currently right now in Shopify, you have to assign one to one collection, upload it, and then change it, and then add another one. So every time you actually assign a collection, it'll add it. And if you have multiple, you're going to literally have to do it multiple times, which kind of sucks. Uh, hopefully, they'll fix that in future. Um, the other thing to know is if you uh, write a new collection that does not exist, it will actually create that collection um, in the back end. So let me show you an example. Let's say I want to, let's, let's show you these collections. So I have a list of one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's say I want to make a new collection. I want to assign this one, original t-shirt. I want to assign it to a collection called holidays, just for example. And I go ahead and I upload. Okay. I'm going to go here back to products, import. I'm going to override my existing one because I'm editing and I clicked on uh, upload. So now what's going to happen is it's first going to create the collection and then it's also going to at the same time create the, the, uh, the product association. So see, now I have a holidays collection. And that holidays collection is a manual collection, which is assigned to this specific product. And that's it. And it's live and it works, right? So you can see the collection exists. It doesn't do anything special. So if you have any special coding or something, you need to uh, update that. But it creates a collection and assigns it. So uh, that's basically it. Those are kind of the tips for it. So just a quick recap. If you want to assign a product to a collection when you use the CSV, don't forget to add the column called collection. Don't forget caps. Use the exact names for 
uh, the collection that exists. If you use a new name, it'll create a new collection. And then the last thing is you can only assign one at a time. But if I do want to change this, for example, let's just show you visually. So if I go here to products and I have my original t-shirt, now it belongs to holidays and new sale. If I create a new one, let's go here, test, text, test a collection it'll continue to add them one by one. So if I have multiple, let's show you. Let's show you this so you can have a visual of it. Okay. So let's go back here. You can see it continues to add the test one. So it'll continue to add on top of it, on top of it. There's no way to remove and there's only you can only upload one at a time. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. We're going to make more and more videos uh, across a lot of different topics. If you love it, if you like it, tell me about it. Subscribe, share, uh, let me know what you think. We're here in the comments to create a community, to share information, to make the world better, more efficient, uh, more information to save you guys time and to also learn from you guys. So much appreciated. Uh, take care.